guys welcome back to my youtube channel on your screen is your usual girl blessing black coco Blemma. if you are new here smash the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i post a new video and thank you so much to my faithful subscribers i appreciate you guys a lot if you watched up to this point and you're not subscribed to this girl's channel mm, you're doing it wrong so guys, I've been seeing this video flying around since last year, people doing the, um, what's it called again? I think the midwife tales, gender prediction, stuff like that. So I was I was like, does this thing even work? But yeah, I tell her to try it out with you guys today. So let me find out if this thing works because the only way to find out is to try it out. So I'm bringing you guys along with me. That's what I'm going to be doing today. Over here, I have my my marker, and <laughs> guys, this board is huge. <laughs> it's for my children. They use it to learn their lesson. But this is the board. This is the board. Can you see? Okay, yeah. So this is the boy section. And this is the girls section right so yeah let's see how this thing works okay so guys i already browsed up some um, gender prediction questions so i'll be asking myself that and also answering the questions by myself of course with you guys along so let's do this number one question is carrying high or low so technically if you are carrying high if your belly is like high i don't know what they mean by high but if it, i think if your belly is you know should i say pointed then you're having a girl but if it's low then it's a boy so i don't know let's see this is my belly my belly this is my belly right here i don't know is this high or low guys can you see I definitely think this is a low belly <laughs> or it's just in the middle what do you guys think yeah I think this is low I think high starts from here all the way from here okay then I think this is low guys I think I'm having a low belly so in that course we have one point for the boy okay one point The second one is pregnancy glow or no glow. So if you are pregnant and you are glowing, no glowing now, you are shining, you know, you have no acne and all that. It said that you have that you're having a boy. But if you have a lot of blemishes and skin problems and all that, you're having a girl. Oh uh, honestly, I don't think I'm glowing. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I'm growing guys. I don't know what glowing is. I don't think I'm glowing at all in this pregnancy to be honest Um, I'm a little bit confused in this one, but I'm going to say No glow <laughs> I don't think I'm glowing at all at all at all Normally during my, in my pregnancy, I don't experience acne and all that stuff so this one is a little bit bad to compare to the other pregnancies, but Nah, no blue. Oh my gosh, two points for the boys. Are you for real? Okay. Another question. Another question is sweet or salty cravings. So if you are having a sweet cravings all the time, you want to eat like sweet junk food, sweet stuffs, drink juices, or uh, you are having uh, salty cravings. You want to be eating you know, all the salty chips and salty food. If you have sweet cravings, it's a girl. But if you have a salty cravings, it's a boy. I'm actually guilty of this one because lately I've been into sugary stuffs. Oh, I don't. I'm just. I'm just trying to you know control the level of sugar intake. You know, I take them because. It could be dangerous and so no one point for the girl finally so the next question is dreams 
so it is said that if you always dream if you're pregnant and you always dream of having a baby boy then you end up having a baby girl in reality and vice versa so guys to be honest with you i'm not even going to lie i've been dreaming of having a baby girl for the umpteenth time so oh my gosh <laughs> i think this goes for the boys right okay okay i see you three points for the boys one point for the girl next question is swollen feet if you are, if you have a swollen feet you're having a boy i think but if you don't have a swollen feet then it's a girl honestly guys my feet doesn't look swollen to be honest i don't have a swollen feet my feet usually would be swollen compared to this so i wouldn't even call this a swollen feet i will just show, show you guys my feet <laughs> you guys don't want to see my feet no so i'll say one point for the girl okay next question is the heart rate okay it said that if if um the heart rate of your child is below uh is around 140 something like that then it's a boy but if it is above 160 then it's a girl honestly the last scan i went to i think that it's about 140 something I can't remember but I think yeah 140 something so one point for our boy okay okay I see another question is clumsiness or graceful so when you are clumsy you're always throwing stalls you know you have no balance you're having a girl but when you are graceful and you're doing everything so perfect and all that you're having a boy Hey guys, I've been the clumsiest. Clumsiest, like I have no balance. Like I throw sauce. Oh my goodness. So one point for the girls. Oh my gosh. But uh, so the girls just have three points and the boys have four points. Yeah, guys, I'm meaning to ask. I came across this word tokophobia. Tokophobia and I checked out the meaning of tokophobia and it baffled me. I thought I was going to ask you guys, have you guys heard of that word tokophobia? It means that it means a person who is afraid of pregnancy or a person who is afraid of babies, you know? Pregnancy who is a, a person who is afraid of a pregnant lady or who is afraid to get pregnant herself or a person who is afraid of a baby like a little, you know, little newborn babies. I was wondering, is there even a person like that? Like this idiot people, they're just creating this just to, you know, fill up addiction life. Is there any person that is afraid of a pregnant lady? You are not pregnant. Excuse me, you are not pregnant. I am one that is pregnant, but you are afraid of me because of my pregnancy. Then you are afraid of a newborn baby. I think the one with the newborn baby should mostly be with the men i don't think maybe there would be from the women's side but i think mostly from the male side uh male usually get scared of holding little baby because they are afraid that the baby is going to drop and fall but honestly this is a big one for somebody to be afraid of a pregnant lady and if you're a lady that's afraid of a pregnant lady i mean what's your plan no carry bende won't you get pregnant uh, I don't know guys let me know if you have seen someone with such you know phobia fear of pregnancy and fear of you know newborn babies i really want to know if people like that exist maybe there would maybe the outside country but in this our niger i don't think so maybe there would share there would be it's possible so let's continue with our gender prediction so the next one is morning sickness so technically if you're having morning sickness like if you're always you know throwing up and feeling nauseous and feeling weak and tired mostly in the mornings then you're having a baby girl but if not so then you're having a baby boy i would say that at the initial stage of this pregnancy i'm not a morning sickness type of person at all but this very pregnancy i've experienced i've experienced like a little bit of 
morning sickness and sometimes even up to this point i still feel nauseous so i would say that's for a girl because why not so four points for a girl and four points for a girl. then the next one is complexion so if you are a four person or if you are a dark person whatever and you and when you are pregnant you got more darker then said that your baby girl has told me your you know your beauty to add to her own you know to be more beautiful but if you are a fair person and you got more fairer and you are glowing and shining uh, or if you're a dark person and you got you know your dark skin got shiny and you know you are looking sweet in pregnancy say to be a boy honestly guys what do you guys think because i think i'm getting darker to compare to my original complexion i mean look at my neck yeah definitely dark so one point for the boy our boys are top you know hey jehovah Gmo. okay this is the next and final question hair and nails so if you have you know brittle nails and uh your hairs are not uh, growing or shining something like that to say that you're having a girl but if you have like long healthy nails and your hair is actually growing then you're having a boy so excuse me so that's another point for a boy because my hair is actually growing although i'm on low cost but my hair is growing and my nails <laughs> excuse me are certainly growing i try to cut them down as much as i can but they're still grand they're actually strong so yeah i think this is just pregnancy for both guys honestly but yes one point for a boy oh my gosh one two three four five six six points for a boy and four points for a girl i think this i think this particular questions that i selected actually favored the boy more than the girls i don't know that's what i think i think there's partiality i think there's partiality in these questions but either way oh uh, have seven points for our boys and we have five points for the girls so according to this gender prediction the boys won so the the old wife tale is telling me that i'm going to have a boy okay 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 sis i see you no problem i'm going to just you know keep this in mind and we'll see when the baby gets here right right so yeah that's it guys for this gender prediction whatever that i did i hope you guys find this interesting i hope you guys followed me along to the end of this video if you do you are the best and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe to like and comment on my video and yeah i love you guys so much bye guys